Good morning, Casual Dress here again. I promised you in my last video that this video would be about up and coming independent casual brands. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, first, I'm gonna review a couple of jackets that I've just had in, just so you can see what I've been buying, and then we're gonna get straight into it. See you on the other side. Okay, so amongst the jackets that I've had in the last couple of weeks, this is one of the ones I wanted to show you. So, it's a Stone Island 2011 Reflective Jacket. That's what it's called, it's called the Reflective Jacket. It sort of takes its look off the Marina jackets. It's got a lovely blue colour. Now, the only problem is the light is not shining on this, it doesn't light up. So, here are some pictures of it when the light is shining on it. And as you can see, it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the whole thing lights up, it's a special process piece. Um, so if the camera wants to fire back to me now, you can see on the badge, special process, which means they're not really sure how it's going to hold up in time. I've said that before, so buy them with uh, a bit of caution. But it's 2011, so it's held. It's held its time. It's now 11 years old. Um, and it's just beautiful. I love the little details. So we've got the white buttons down the middle. Um, it is hooded, as you can see here. And it's quite robust, so it's perfect for like pubs, football, etc, etc. Um, but yeah, I was really pleased. I've had it in blue before, I've had it in yellow before, I mean I've had multiple of them before. Um, but I thought for the winter period, going out at night, few beers, this is absolutely perfect. So that's my first one, 2011 Stone Island Reflective Jacket. Now on to my next one, and this is a special one. I told you it was a special one. Uh, I've been after this for some time. It's a Stone Island Shadow Scarabeo jacket. Um, it's a smock. It's a winter smock, so it is quilted inside. Uh, again, there's no light shine on me, so here are some pictures now of what it looks like. Uh, it lights up a treat, um, multicolored, um, part of the Scarabeo range, so those trench coats, etc., etc. But it is an absolute stunner. Um, the only problem with these jackets is, at the moment, that there are a lot of fakes on the market. It used to be that you could tell a real one from a fake one because of the Zs running through it. I'll show you here now. So the Zs running through the pattern. The fake ones have even got that down to a T now, although they are a little lighter, so they're not as dark as the real ones. Um, so the only real way you can tell a fake and a real now is by making sure you have the Cert logo. I've seen a few up for sale recently saying they bought them from retailers but they came with no Certi logo. I mean, if that's the case and you are looking at buying one, even on the back of this video, um, it's got to have a Certi logo that scans authentic. Otherwise, I would stay well away, away from them. Uh, again, perfect for the winter nights. Um, yeah, shadow badge to the arm. And it's just quite simple. You know I like my shadow smocks anyway, but one that lights up when light shines on it is absolutely incredible but I don't think this light will be bright enough to be shining on me. Um, yeah, so if you want one of those, have a look for them, but stay away from the fakes. They're my two recent jackets, two reflectives. I thought it'd be nice to show them. Now, rest of the video, I'm gonna show you some independent casual brands coming up uh, and some organizations that I think are doing fantastic work. So, see you on the other side, A game. Hello again, it's like uh, stars in your eyes, wardrobe changes in front of your eyes. Um, here we go, first brand, Casual Minds Matter, and here it says on the front, uh, checking in on mental health. I came across this brand on uh, Facebook, they have a, a big following and as you can imagine a lot of them will be uh, males. Started in 2021 in Burnley, and basically I didn't really know what it was about. I sort of looked into it, and I saw that they were helping males who find it hard uh, to talk to anybody. Um, offering them support, really. Places to go, places to meet. So I've seen them um, having functions where there's just been like a band on, and guys have gone and met, going bowling. I saw a little bit on... Uh, Football, they went to play football together over in Burnley, and I just thought it was a really nice thing. So I looked into it a little bit more, and I was talking with the owner, and basically they're not funded, so they're not getting any money from the government. This is something they've obviously started up that's quite new, and I'm going to guess, and I'll drop my fingers, that in the future, 
Um, they will be provided with a pot of money, but to raise money, they look for donations. Um, like I say, they hold fundraisers, and then they started making some apparel to buy. So here's the one I, I got, um, and thank you for donating this to me. Um, it's just a plain tee, but this is not more for, it's not, it's not about the fashion. This is not about saying this is an independent brand swear that's coming through. This is an organisation that should really reach out to a lot of you and it probably touches a lot of your hearts because I know when I'm on some of the forums, Jacket Forum, Stone Island, there are guys every day taking their lives um, and yeah, sometimes you probably do feel in a hole that you can't speak to anyone. So they're trying to break the stigma. So one way that they are raising money, not only by um, asking you to donate cash to them and here is where to go if you want to donate money. So if you go onto their website, you'll see that there is a Just Giving link. Click on that link and donate to them. But also, they're trying to raise money by selling t-shirts, and I think they've got hoodies. Here you can see the shop now. Um, so I just thought it'd be a really, really nice thing to start with, this group. Head over, check them out. They have started a woman's uh, Casual Minds Matters as well. So I think on the back of, I had some notes here, three local girls taking their lives. Um, they decided to start a women's only group as well. So if you are one of the female fans out there that's watching this video, um, spread the word and join the group. And hopefully, I know it's located in Burnley at the moment, but hopefully it's gonna move around the country. I would hope that they, they can spread this sort of good cause around the country because I mean, the state that the country's in at the moment, it, it really needs these sort of groups looking after people. So, I mean, to you lot out there who started this and who are still ongoing with this Casual Minds Matter, keep it up, big thumbs from me, um, and head across there and support them now. Okay, so my next brand that I'm gonna be showing is Chemical Imbalance. So I'm gonna show you the stickers that you sent me, so you can have a look. And then, now, I don't really know how I'm going to structure these videos, whether I'm going to put websites over the top, or just do it all from camera. Um, but before I do anything, I just want to say thank you to all those that did send me stuff. So obviously, I'm trying to help out by showing these independent brands that are coming through. Um, but you're also helping me, putting some faith in me and sending me these items so I can have some material to review and show people who watch my videos. So, you know, thank you for sending me uh, the items. A lot of these items as well, I'm just going to head over to my Instagram and I'm just going to raffle them somehow. So I might do some sort of giveaway. So do head over to my Instagram um, where most of these items will be given away for free. Um, further promoting you know, these brands. So this one here is called Chemical Imbalance. So it sort of follows on from the Casual Minds Matter. Again, this is like a mental health sort of um, twist on the clothing sort of apparel. And when I put the ask up asking to see if anybody wanted to send me some stuff, I got a message from a guy called Martin. He's in the northwest of England. And again, he started off small. So he started at the moment, he's making t-shirts, jumpers, hoodies, and hats. So I grabbed a t-shirt and a hat. I must note as well that I actually said to the people who I had these, uh, these brands, they let me pick the items that I wanted to really show on camera. So. I loved this t-shirt, um, really simple, so it's navy, I'm going to kneel down although I'm a bit old, um, and it's just got the chemical imbalance logo written in a circle here. Now I'm not one for, although actually I've just shown you the most ludicrously out there jacket, the Scarabeo, but actually when it comes to wearing just normal clothing, I like um, the logo to be quite simple, hence why I like the shadow stuff in Stone Arm. So, I really like the fact that it's quite simple, there's nothing else on it. Now I'm wearing it, and I'm quite a chunky monkey, and it fits really, really nicely. Um, it hugs the right bits, and it's loose enough on the other bits, if you get what I mean. Um, so yeah, I've got the t-shirt, and I've got the hat. Here's his website. Um, hopefully you can see his website in front of you now. Um, just showing off some more of his items. They only started up this company in March of this year, so they've not been running long. I'm sure you can probably appreciate that the hardest times for a company is right at the beginning. So get behind him and support him. His idea is that he wants to eventually branch into jackets uh, and smocks. So, you know, I really like the brand. 
I'm going to keep this t-shirt, I'm not going to give this one away, I'm going to keep this one um, because it strikes a chord with me personally. Um, but I think it's a fantastic brand and if you lot can get over there and support them, then I am sure that they're going to get bigger and bigger. So, Chemical Imbalance, thank you for sending me some stuff. People watching, I hope you like this one. Now then, back with me. I don't normally wear bucket hats, but I thought when I saw it on the website, I had to grab one to show you a bucket hat. Um, we're going to head straight across to the website now. So, this is called Grand Alliance, and I've seen a number of people wearing uh, this brand, not only on Instagram, but on Facebook. And I wanted to get involved and show some love, and they messaged me quite a while ago, and I read it, and it must have been late at night, and I forgot to respond to them, and then when I messaged them, um, they were fantastic, they've got me some stuff out. So, Grand Alliance, um, yeah, here's the website, there's loads out there about them already. Uh, breaking away from the stereotypical football culture fashion, and that was sort of the main thing that he was trying to say, that he's sort of gone away from the Stone Island and the CP company now, he used to used to like the aqua scooter, etc. And he's gone across now and thought, how can I make a sort of heritage brand um, with an original idea? So this is his brand. Uh, it's based on sort of like World War II, as you can see from uh, the designs on the front of the t-shirts. And I hope you can see the website right now. I'm trying to, trying to show you some graphics from the website. Um, now he's most proud of his t-shirts and that's why I got one of the t-shirts now. Now this one is probably a bit too tight for me. Um, but if you need any help with sizing, you know, message him but also message me because you can probably compare yourself to me in size. Um, and he sort of bases his brand on limited stock and limited collection. So there won't be an everlasting supply of each of these t-shirts or hats etc. So, you know, do grab one. I really like it. I mean, I don't like bucket hats. I've only put that on just for the laughs. Um, so the bucket hat will definitely be going across to Instagram for a, uh, some sort of giveaway. Um, T-shirt, I'll probably... Yeah, I don't know, actually, because I don't know if I'm going to fit in it. And it's Christmas coming up, and I really don't know if I'll fit in it after Christmas. But we will see. Lovely brand. And like I said, uh, Stone Love, I saw wearing some of it. And I thought, yes, he's wearing it. I'll wear a little bit of that, too. Um, so... Grand Alliance doing massive things. If you want to read up more about them, do head across to the website. They've got questions and answers. Um, have a look through the stock. Buy some stuff for your loved ones for Christmas or buy yourself something if you love yourself for Christmas. Um, Grand Alliance, thank you for sending this out. Top man. Okay, so this brand, I might have been hiding under a rock because I've never heard of it, but I really, really like it. Um, it's from Glasgow. And it's called Company Swiss, not Swiss Company, Company Swiss. And they've got loads of products, so I don't know why I've not seen it. Um, it came with, you know what, I'm going to get you the card. You wait there. I'm back. It came with a little card. I hope you can read that. Just basically saying thank you for your custom. Um, spread the word if you're happy, and if you're not happy, get in contact with them and they'll try and sort it for you. I uh, really like those little details, especially if you're an independent brand. I think there should be some, I think there should be some, uh, some sort of little message in a, in a bag, because it's coming from, from you as a person, really, rather than a huge company. But yeah, uh, Company Swiss, Glasgow area, I'm on their website now, you can have a look. Um, and they've got smocks. Hoodies, T-shirts. Now I'm not one for massive logos on the front, so some of the stuff I wouldn't wear, but some of the stuff, especially the stuff that's just really subtle, um, I love it. There's a check shirt with Company Swiss on the cuff, which looks nice as well. Um, loads of stuff there. So back over to me wearing it. The reason why I liked it is because obviously the Swiss flag on the arm, again, it's really subtle. That's all it is. Nothing else on the t-shirt. And then again, the hat. So if I take the hat off, it's like a little cord hat. And that's all that's on the side of it. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. The hat as well. Like, I've got a massive head, so when I buy hats, normally, 
they're not deep enough, they don't sit down on my head enough, they're like a little uh, Jewish hat on top of my head. Um, but this one sits deep enough and fit, the fit's really good. This t-shirt is an XL as well and that fits right. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I've just missed out on this brand and this is why you know we're doing the video that some people were saying, God, you're way behind. I've been wearing that you know, for, for a long time or I'm from Glasgow and I know that brand inside out. Or oh, like me, some of you might be tuning in now thinking, well, actually, I quite like the look of that. And these are not expensive items either. You know, they're not, they're, you're not going to be charged £200 like a t-shirt from Stone Island. Um, and that's why, you know, the current climates with the amount of money that people have got or people haven't got because the government are taking absolutely every single penny off us. Um, we need to look at alternatives and it's good to support local as well. Um, that's a hashtag, isn't it? Good to support local. But yeah, Company Swiss, firstly, thank you for sending me. Uh, what a top guy is there as well. He got it out to me nice and quickly. And the product is absolutely class. So if you can, head up to our website, go and buy something. And here comes the next brand. Okay, my next brand that I'm showing, and it's last, but it's not last, it's not least, but it is the last one I'm going to show, is Section 60. Uh, they've used the name, obviously, it is a stop and search procedure by the police especially at football matches to prevent violence so they played on that and it's called section 6 it's really nice um, I again have gone for something that's quite subtle so we've got the section 60 badge right there and the same on the hat just a little I think it's there I can feel it S60 section 60 the guys at Section 60 sent me loads of bits out. Fair play to you. I've got loads of bits here to show you. Um, so T-shirt and hat. Head over to the website. Um, you can't go wrong. They've got the man himself, Derek Alvarez from Miami Casuals. I mean, I really don't know what to make of this guy, but it's absolutely entertaining watching him over in America. And if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. So they've got... T-shirts, and that's one of the T-shirts I'm wearing now. Headwear, yeah, I've got that cap as well. Bottle opener, yeah. They sent me it. A bottle opener. I always need a bottle opener. Um, and then I've got another T-shirt. Comes in a beautiful package. So here it is. Let's open it up. There's a reason why I'm showing this. Now, I don't normally wear t-shirts like this, but I'm definitely going to give this one away in a giveaway over my channel. The um, reason why I really like it is because it is designed by the man himself, Gavin Parker. And if any of you watch my past videos, he did some stuff for Terrace Cult. Um, so he's designed a t-shirt for them. He's a top guy. I remember speaking to him on Instagram a while back when I was looking at... Uh, casual artists some brilliant designs so yeah that one's quite special that will go on my instagram but as a brand yeah really really good um like the t-shirt like the fit i probably prefer the swiss cap but only because it's just got a tiny logo on the side but all in all a top brand as well so they are five brands that you know i really want you to go and have a look at um and spend some money with Spend some money, buy some presents for people you know, um, and say, you know, if you do like it, send them a message to say you like it, spread it on to your friends. Um, I'm going to get unchanged out of this one. Again, massive thank you to all those people who, who sent me something. So we've got Section 60, we've got um, Company Swiss, we've got Casual Minds Matter, we've got Chemical imbalance and we've got we've got one more i think there was one more if i miss one out i'll catch you on the next little bit i knew i'd miss one brand before so it is grand alliance clothing you've got your own special mention again thank you for sending me some stuff as well so that's all five of you um finish up with this t-shirt to spread the word again please make sure that if you're not okay you do talk to somebody um i was going to pop to stone isle alf I sometimes mention him only because he's a local hull boy. I was going to uh, stop off at his pop-up shop yesterday. I heard it was brilliant. Well done for uh, making such a good pop-up in Hull. Because 
quite frankly, nothing really goes on in Hull. It's the end of the train line and no one really comes out here and does anything. Flannels, I think they've just put everything in the store that they can't sell anywhere else. So it's one of the worst flannels I've ever seen as well. So well done to your pop-up shop. I had to stay in to wait for Sky, which I didn't have. I've got it back now, ready for the World Cup that starts today. I'm on Sunday. Um, World Cup starts today. Please don't let it be Qatar 1, Ecuador 0, because that would be an absolute outrage. Uh, and if you know why, then you know why. I'm sure England will go far. Um, great news that Benzema's out of the World Cup, so England have a chance if they play them in the quarters. Yeah, we could beat them without Benzema. Um, look after yourselves. I'll try and get another video soon, but please do, if you want to send any messages to me, my email's here. Head across to Instagram, because loads of that stuff will go away for uh, competitions, so you can get yourself that for free. I'm an XL, so if you're similar to me, bonus, um, and I'll see you on the other side. Take care.